Okay, now we're going to learn how to find the intercepts of a circle. Now, I want you to think about this here. What are the intercepts of the circle? Well, that's where it crosses the x-axis or the y-axis. And here we have a circle, x minus 4 is quantity squared, plus y, the quantity y minus 2 squared equals 16. Hmm, so i got to think about this. Now, one of the nice things I could kind of do is this. I know the center of the circle is actually at 2, 4, because these would be, or 4, 2, these would be inside liars. That's my x, is at 4, 2. I know that the um, radius is 4, because what's the square root of 16? 4. But here we go. Here's, I want to go plug it in. And here's what else we know. The x, at the x intercept, the y value is 0. So if I want to find where the x intercept is, simply replace the y with a 0. And that's going to be pretty easy. I'm leaving the formula exactly alone here. I want to replace that 0 right there. So what's 0 minus 2? Well, that's a negative 2. But what's negative 2 squared? Well, remember, a negative times a negative makes a positive. And that's not 2 squared make it negative. It's negative 2 times negative 2, so it makes it 4. And if I'm solving an equation, I undo things. So let's minus 4 from each side. Now I have this x minus 4 squared equals 12. But I need to get the x by itself to find the x-intercept. So how can I undo a squared? By square rooting. But here's the thing. When solving a square root, we have what we call the positive answer and negative answer. Because remember, if I square a negative times a negative, it still gives me a positive answer. So I have the square root of 12. Only I'm going to tell you this. Square root of 12 is not going to be kind of right because you can uh, reduce that. I mean, 4 times 3 is 12. And what's the square root of 4? 2. So that's why the square root of 12 is really 2 square roots of 3. But I still have a positive answer and the negative one, because a negative times a negative makes a positive. Add 4 to each side. So there's actually my x-intercept is at 4 plus 2 square roots of 3 minus 2 square roots of 3 will be the answer where I find the y-intercept. Right, sorry, sorry, the x-intercept. So that's the x-intercept. Now, how would I find the y-intercept? Well, how do I find the x? by putting 0 in for y. So if I want to find the y, let's put 0 in for x. So I'm going to take the same original problem and replace it with a 0. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to do 0 minus 4, which, and what's negative 4 squared? Well, that's 16. And now I'm minus 16 from each side. Woohoo! Now I like this because when I square root this one, there is no positive or negative 0. It's just plain 0. If I square rooted it, I had to square root it like I did here. I just didn't make a little square root sign. Okay? And then I add 2 to each side. So the um, y-intercept is at 2. Now, wait a minute. I'm not really quite done because I need to write the points. Now, the y-intercept is the point 0, 2. And the x-intercept is technically 4 plus 2 square roots of 3, comma, 0. And 4 minus 2 square roots of 3, comma, 0. So to find the intercepts, all we're really doing is this. We're taking the original formula. And if I want to find the x-intercept, I put 0 for y. Because on the x-intercept, the y value is 0. And when I want to find the y-intercept, I put x at 0. Because in the y-intercept, the x value is 0. So I can just plug them in, plug them in, and get the easier answer.